So rules, do not reset the map. You will lose all progress and you will have to start from the beginning. Yeah. No flashlight. Walk through the door to start. All right. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, yeah. The stupid light has to come back. Ah, there we are. Okay. Oh, yeah. E. E. Okay. <laughs> it works. Oh, my God. How are we not supposed to use a flashlight? I know, right? I have this tendency, That's even you. with amnesia, to put the gamma on, like, two. Whoa. Oh. Light switch. There is. Oh. Barely can see anything. Ah, we can go up here. Oh. Looks like... Oh, it's the room. From, uh... What was it? Silent Hill? The room. Silent Hill, the room. Yeah. Um... Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, how cute. Very cute. What is your spirit animal? The elephant or the giraffe? I feel like I, feel like I would be... The giraffe. I yeah. can be both. Uh, I am... Uh, yeah, I think both. <laughs> oh. A place to hide. Nice. Alright. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? I teleported. Where did... Oh, you back. Okay. Nice, nice house so far. Yeah. Cozy. I'm sure so it uh, hides some uh, terrible secret. I feel like I'm real estate shopping and not <laughs> in a haunted house. With just a few, with a few flickering lights that need to be fixed. I'm not really spooked. Well, uh, except for this room here. Okay. There's a little bit of server lag, it seems. Uh, it's probably because yeah, uh, to... US Europe, so. Yeah. Nice bedroom. I think we need to find keys. Probably. Maybe. Oh my god. This is a good bit laggy. Um, maybe. Basement required. Basement key required. Oh. Okay, I'll join you downstairs. I don't know if there's anything d downstairs yet. It's completely dark. Oh. Might be here because this one is locked. Whoa. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> was it you? Yeah, I just wanna try to open this door. Oh. What the? <laughs> was it? Try to pick up the phone. Nothing happens. Oh, he used the basement. This is the garage. Is there something there? So far, I haven't found anything. Is there a gamma thing here somewhere in the menu? I guess not. No, wait. Video. Yeah, that could probably help. Brightness levels. Ooh. I hear a rat. Ah, much better. I did some gamma. You said you had a basement key, right? No, uh... We have to find one. I um, might. Oh. How do you open your inventory? Even is is it is that even a thing? Poss like possibly a thing in these mods. Inventory. I, I wouldn't know. 
Mm, no. I have. Yeah, I don't think so. Did you just pick it up and bring it to the door? Yeah. Yeah. Have you played Resident Evil 8 yet? The one with Lady Dimitrescu. So you have played that? No, I've seen it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think everybody's seen that. Um, but yeah, I'm like... Oh, what was that? Oh, wait! Yeah. Spooky sound. I found basement okay, key. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Otherwise, we'd be walking up... Oh my god, black. Alright. See how it's probably gonna be a spooky. Whoa! Spooky. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect that one. <laughs> Loud noises equals scary. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. What is this? Another key. Padlock key. Ah, uh, oh. yeah, for that room. Spooky lag. Probably, um, if uh, for a one time visible join, um, there will be in a US server, and I will join you. How do you... Okay, there we go. Did it just unlock one? This is pretty well made for a Gmod. Uh, yeah, that's what's uh, business set as well. Okay, so we just unlocked one padlock. Yes. Yeah. Also locked, all right. It really helps when I put up the uh, gamma. I see. Did the same. I just have a feeling we missed something here. Yeah, probably. But yeah, if you're wondering what kind of character I am, it's from Near Automata. I don't know if I've heard of it. Well, I opened that door. There is here a gun magazine. We are in America, that's for sure. Yep. America. They're taking my gun away from me. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's gonna like that. It's not a light switch. What do you think here? about Trump? Um, um. <laughs> good question. Gonna be huge. It's gonna be amazing. We got big numbers, numbers like no one's had before. Jump scares we've uh, no one had before. Loud noises no one's had before. <laughs> amazing. It's tremendous. Tremendous. Up being a key in some really stupid place. Yeah, feels like amnesia. Key quests. Yeah. There's a lot of horror game with those. Oh, 
Oh. More spooky noises. I also have a feeling. I wonder if there's like. Yeah. I wonder if there's just like a timer script where that just noise that noise just plays like every 200 seconds or some shit. Ah, uh, yeah. We have to pull a book. We found a secret. You hear that? If it stops, you have to start all over. <laughs> Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Play, but it... <laughs> play the game way too many times. Well, I went over Amnesia like four or five times. What really sucks is when you have to like record gameplay footage of Amnesia because people just expect you to have gameplay footage in the background of Amnesia and you just have to play through the game like 50 times in one day. Ah, when you're making Maybe like... Not like one uh, day, but like in a week. Yeah, when you make like these uh, compilations or whatnot, some commentary stuff. Yeah. Well, I've, I've made so many amnesia related videos. Yeah, I've made like one or two commentary things uh, just on the background of amnesia main uh, screen. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. I was locked that one. in the bathroom. Oh, God. it's There's a red light in here. <gasps> Let that out! Oh, God. Oh god, some, some, it's gonna be something in the mirror, probably. I'm gonna hide in the closet. Yep, it's totally in the mirror. That is not a mirror, because I would see myself. Uh, that would have been cool if I could have gone through the mirror. You're right. Oh, key. Hey. I just... Yeah. That's a key. Where the hell just is that? Said Bloody Mary looking in the mirror one too many times, I guess. Yep. We have the attic key. Where's the attic? Oh, look at the shilling. I s oh, God. It's been a while since I had the lag, actually. Alright. This couldn't go wrong. No, not at all. Oh, there was a dude here. Got some ring shit going on here. I guess it's just gonna be static. I am static. Oh, wait, it's back. <laughs> what is this? Oh. This leads into a alternate universe room thing. Whoa. We are vampires, Life. we don't have any uh reflection. Reflection. Oh wow, this is different. I'm a vampire, and I'm for hire. Did you ever watch that video? Did you ever? Uh, oh, spooky. <laughs> Did you ever watch um, uh, albino black sheep flash videos back in the day? Uh, no. It was like, it was like um, YouTube before YouTube, pretty much. But they weren't like MP4 videos; they were like flash videos. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Don't quite remember. And that's where like a lot of a me that's where a lot of memes originated. I think that's where all your base are belong to us came from. I'm not really sure though. That one is locked. Ah. Holy shit. Spooky. <laughs> fucking train in there? <laughs> train, yeah. <laughs> Thomas the tank engine, like I don't who knows. Oh. This looks exactly it's gonna Oh. Loud noises. Scary. Oof. Yeah. Of course the light switches don't work in here. No, I am the light bearer. Yeah, I should have got one myself. Did the door uh lock, lock on us? I didn't. Crying equals scary. I think we need to find a fuse. 
Like, why doesn't anybody feel bad for the ghost when they cry? People just, people are scared. That's why they're crying. Nobody cares about them. I know. I guess I'll be the light bearer. I have no clue where to go. I don't see anything. Uh, maybe we should go back so I can get my own light. Bonk. Bonk. Yeah. All right. Wait, no, these aren't the lights. Where did you get the lantern from? Here, it was here, on top of here. Oh, so it was, oh my god, it was just one. Yeah. Well. I think you're the one who isn't lagging, so you should probably carry this. Ah, the beauty of Gmod. <laughs> anyway, I think we do have to find a fuse. Perhaps. Oh. I'll go say Was that you? Walk over corners and disappear. No. no I, not me. I literally bumped into ah. the dude. It left me in it left me in the dark. I can't see. Okay, now I can see. Okay, now I can't see. Now I can't see. How many uh um, I wonder if there's Yeah. I wonder if there's any like good liminal space uh, maps that we can venture through. It probably won't be as eventful though, which isn't a bad thing, but I don't know what your uh, thoughts are on liminal spaces. I like the idea. It's horrifying, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a guy sitting it. Okay, you have fun sitting in that fridge. We have to find something like... Uh... Like a fuse. He's distraught. <sighs> okay, and we're back here, but did we find something? No, I didn't find anything. It sucks because we can't, like, separate and look around ourselves. We have to bunch together which doesn't help us find anything quicker true <clears throat> I, I, I always had oh, this wait wait, wait. wait where? come come to this uh nightstand over here i'm still in the bedroom right here <laughs> i can't see you what the hell <laughs> oh damn. right here oh yeah there's a key hey hey Hello. How are you? So, All when right. did you gain the ability to do like a community posts and like uh, patron exclusive uh, videos? Um, can you not do community community posts yourself? Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I can't see it. I don't know where it is. It's on the channel page, and you click community. And um, it should be avail available to all small YouTubers now. It was a new update that came out. Uh, I'll have to double check. And Patreon is just a, a website. No, no, I know, but... an account. Uh, you make these kind of, like, exclusive videos for those people, right? Yeah. So I, I just upload unlisted videos on YouTube, and people can share them to other people. There's not really any way around that. But um, you just kind of have to trust people. I mean... That's just how it goes, but I don't really care too much if people are like, Hey bro, look, this is a patron. Patri I mean, nobody's going to do that because nobody cares that much about my fucking... I mean, I would hope not that they would do that, but you know, it doesn't really bother me. Ah, uh, okay. If that made any sense. Anyway, I picked up an ox. I don't know where we have to go. Maybe? Perhaps. No. There's another door back here, right? I don't know. Yes. 
What's that noise? Sounds like a, a glitch where an object's just like stuck in another object. Perhaps, yeah. Very H... Very H... HPL. Okay, well, it's not here yet. That's for sure. Maybe some planks, but yeah, honestly, I was looking around on YouTube and I didn't find the option. But maybe I just have to look better. Yeah, it'll be on the channel page. I don't, YouTube's weird though. Sometimes YouTube will allow other people to do stuff and then other people not to do stuff, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, they're weird. I, I honestly hate them. Yeah. <sighs> They shadow banned so many of my favorite YouTubers and unsubscribe me from certain people too, even. There's this guy who like, watches like, creepy deep web shit, like cartel videos and whatnot, and he reacts to them, but they're mm -hmm. like blurred and whatnot. And YouTube like, because of this has like, buried his fucking channel in the algorithm so deep down, he's just like, <laughs> struggling so, so hard. It sucks. Yeah. I just feel like it's just way too, they're way too authoritarian, they're way too, like, censor, um, happy, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's just... Oh. And even videos, I feel like even, um, horror content creators that simply do analysis on horror games and whatnot like I do, I feel like our channels are shadow banned as well, because it's not family friendly enough, you have to do makeup tutorials and like, <laughs> do like happy little vlogs where you go to disney world and ride dumbo or whatever the fuck i don't know it's just i hate it understandable i just find try to find a place where i can put uh i do something with my axe that i picked up i have no clue hmm. i've looked around I can almost smell this place. It smells musty. Yeah. Maybe that's just my schizo brain. They, yeah, it could be associated. Yeah, why not? Wish I could wander off and look around on my own, but. I cannot do that. I know. I would think maybe here because this door was slammed shut and then you use an axe there. And we could just move on to another map if we get stuck here for too long. I mean, there's got to be a fuse around here somewhere though. Yeah, true. Oh, I can watch uh, Bissa Plains uh, <laughs> uh, video. See what they did. But I'm afraid by the time I'm done with my amnesia mods, he's gonna be so tired of amnesia that he just doesn't want to play it <laughs> again. True, yeah, true. That takes so long working on my mods. Even my fucking playable trailer mod I'm taking my time on. Oh my god. I thought I turned and then I see somebody there and I realize it's you, but at first... <laughs> How about I you take me. the lantern? Alright. The game lags a bit. Eh. What's your favorite uh subgenre of horror? Psychological. Yeah, I like that too. I have a few favorites. I guess liminal spaces be could be considered a subgenre by this point. I did we search this room? Yeah, I got an axe here. Um, so liminal spaces is def definitely a recent um favorite. But I, yeah, like, I love psychological horror. I love stuff that uh, utilizes the the whole Bernard's door thing, where like you're in a you're in a house you're familiar with, but there's like a new door in the house, sort of like a a creepy dream you would have. Like I don't remember this door being here, and then you open mm. it, and it's just like this whole other world, kind of like in Silent Hill. 
I see. Scary sounds. Yeah. I just have a feeling we kind of like miss a key somewhere. Or it fell on the ground. It does. Or some stupid shit. Uh, I don't know. It might. Can do that in, in Amnesia. Yeah. But in Amnesia, the developers, the with the at least the the um core games assets, the keys are actually very heavy if you go in the model editor, so that that is less likely to happen. But yeah. That's true. Once a while, they get stuck somewhere. What was that? I heard something behind me. It was like, it almost sounded like a distorted crying baby or something. It was like, <laughs> Oh my lord. They're like, okay, you're leaving me in this dark room with this demonic force. <laughs> oh no, I lost my light. <laughs> What? It's down there. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a fell. Oh, I got it. yeah, you did it. I got it. Okay, you carry it though, because you lag less. The lag isn't as bad as it was before though, so that. Alright, at least we know it's upstairs. Always, at least with me, it feels like it's always something like simple and in plain sight. Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah. And not hidden in plain sight either. Oh my god. Spooky. And that is the fuse. Yeah, we got it. Sweet. Yeah, we got it. We'll leave you be in that corner. I guess. He was put in timeout or something. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's what you do when you put in timeout. You you're in a corner facing the wall. All right. Fine. Oh no. It feels kind of liminal now. Yeah, it does. Like it's a repeating hallway. We gotta have a jump scare soon. Oh, oh yeah. Give me tea light. Wait, tea light. Yeah. Give, Give me, me the tea light. light. Oh yeah. I don't want to part with this thing, but well, whatever. Where they give us light afterwards. Oh, it's safe. Oh no. Woo. <laughs> Spooky growls. That's. Can I. You do your thing. Wait, there's a combination. Ah. Uh. I'll just let you do it because I'm gonna fuck it up and not <laughs> lag. Oh! Pretty well made, I've gotta say. Run! Oh my god. I don't run very fast. Nah, me neither. Ah! Ah! 
Oh, you're back alive. Yeah, just respawn me. Ah! Oh. Back here. I guess we got at this. Where do we open the safe first? There we go. Is there a jump scare contained in the safe? Padlock key. All this for one padlock key. Wow. Nice. Gotta close it. <laughs> I'm trying. That's good. Oh my god. That yeah, was just going to close as soon as he got to the door. Yeah, I guess it was a timed event. That they, they, they have done that in Soma and many games. Outlast. Yeah, what do you think of Outlast? I like Outlast. It's just I'm not as much of a fan of the const constant chasing sequences and monsters growling and screaming in your face. It's not. It's a well-made horror game. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> it is but i mean the level design is good the the atmosphere is good some of the time some of the time you know what i'm trying to say but i'm not second one's pretty bad though yeah minus the skull sequence i think the skull sequence might be the best part of the outlast series now, I haven't played Outlast Trials, and I know that's coming out, so... But I have a feeling that one's gonna be the worst. I mean... Usually, the more sequels, the worse it gets. That's usually how it goes. Even with Amnesia. Yeah. I, I mean, that's subjective, but... I would agree with you there. I made a comment about it on your video about AAA games. Yeah. Oh yeah, Frictional Games is definitely starting to lean towards being a AAA game company. Their I'm... team's getting bigger and bigger, and eventually it's going to be like, you know... Uh, you know, a, a AAA studio thing. Well, I mean, they're, they don't have one office they work in or anything they work all around the world if i'm correct but still they're getting close to being triple a like bethesda in its early days type of triple a yeah hey, so wait where did you go where did you go <laughs> i am in the bathroom upstairs near the well i'm i'm at the padlock door ah okay yeah i went downstairs no, but yeah, but they behave like an AA game, you know, trying to put profits yeah. before immersion. In my opinion. Yeah, they're definitely seemingly doing that now. And I didn't really, really like the theme of Rebirth. It's not my cup of tea. Like, I am Tessie and I must um, get out of here. To bore my child, or whether I don't, I don't really like the whole plot of that game or, or anything. No, I me mean neither. I, I, yeah, I, I, the Dark Descent is just, I like it a lot more. I think the Dark Descent is their scariest game, and um, Soma is their best game. <clears throat> I do think uh, Penumbra had the best story. Yeah, the Penumbra has a very, very vast, like, in-depth story for sure. Yeah, but we have to go here, finally. Uh, I don't like this one bit. Whoa. 
cutscene. Beautiful. Fantastic. It's not stop motion, apparently, like... because... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then. It's a boss um, fight. She's, like, stuck in a... in a little, uh... dance. That's... lovely. Alright, well, we have to go here. Our first trial. Now we're, like... Now we're, like, in Amnesia if it was released in 2004 or something. Yeah. Kind of what it feels like. Uh, this, this game kind of has, like, graphics similar to Unbirth, I, I would say. Yeah, what is up with oh, Unbirth? So you ah. Um, it was a project done by Thomas Grip and Jeans Nilsson, but it was cancelled in late 2004. Um... But it was like done during Th Thomas Grip's grip design era, where he had this like he 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 called his studio or whatever grip design, and he made games like the Fiend game and I think another 2D game if I'm correct. And then he was working on Unbirth, which was his like first more amnesia-esque horror game, but it was cancelled because he didn't have the rights to the 3D engine the game engine that it was using, so he went on to make his own game engine, and then he made the Penumbra Tech demo to demonstrate that engine, and people were like, oh, this is cool, bro, you should make, like, a whole series based off of this, and he was like, okay, I'll do that, and then he made the Penumbra series, which makes me wonder, like, if people didn't like the Penumbra Tech demo, would he just go straight on to working on Amnesia or something else? Like, I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> I see. Well, yeah, I never played Unbirth or anything like that. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. It has that. It has a dot exe haunted game feel, I guess. I mean, that's kind of a stupid way of putting it because it's <laughs> not like dot exe is retarded. No, I understand like, what you, you get mean. What I'm saying. Yeah, it has that obscure feel to it because it's like a canceled horror game and everything, an old game. I kind of like how the Half-Life engine kind of feels creepy to me. I never played Half-Life. Half Nor have I. I mean, I've played the first few minutes of it, but I I, I just like the engine. I don't know. And I like Ares mod and everything like that. Right. Of the uh, enemies made by fictional games themselves, which one is the most scary? Uh, the hunter from the tech demo. Of course, it was take taken out of the tech demo, but I would say the hunter because it just looks most uncanny. It looks like a human contorted in a spider shape, which I don't know. It looks like something straight out of like Silent Hill or something. One hundred percent, I agree with you. <laughs> yep. That's terrifying. And Penumbra Necrolog, holy shit, the first encounter, I remember in 2014, I was doing a let's play of it, and I ran into it around the corner, and it's like, okay, that's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very annoying. Um, but yeah, I like, I, I screamed at the top of my lungs, let's just say that, and my mom knocked on my door, and she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> One of the so that sense, was, yeah. That was bad. That thing terrifies me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of surf log now. The second scariest enemy in Amnesia and uh, uh, FG games, what would that be? Well, what about. Uh, I don't know. The yeah. The proxy is pretty scary, just the way its face is like frozen in a like scream of pain or horror or whatever. And the music, the boom, doo, 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 boom, doo, doo, like that's fucking terrifying the, to me. The proxy, which one is it? it? It like its arms are like sewn into its body by the fungi or whatever the fuck, and it's like it has a screaming face. All from Soma. Terry Acres. 
Yeah, Terry Acres is, um, looks similar to it, but Terry Acres isn't the scariest to me, because he looks, he looks, I don't know, a little less uncanny, I guess. And you can't even see any face that's frozen in, like, pain or horror. Uh-huh. Oh, no, not this, not this. Yep. Silence. Plus that noise we heard earlier. What's that noise. <laughs> oh my shit. Oh god. <laughs> oh, my ears burn! <laughs> that was a good what one. What did the NPC say? My or ears burn. They... My ears burn. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty accurate to how I felt, actually. She hides in the dark, stay in the light. Ah, okay, so you hear that sounds and... But I never played huh. Soma, by the way. Yeah, it's... It really makes you think, like, philosophically, it makes you think about what is it to be human? Um, oh my god. Yeah. Uh. Great. Okay. Nope. This is something he did. No, we have to go through that, but I have matches, but... What? Where are the Soma? Soma affected me um more after the game. Like I was thinking for a while, like, you know, like what if you copied your consciousness to a, uh, a bunch of different copies of yourself or something? You know, yeah. which one's the real you? Because they're all they all think and feel the same way you do. So I don't know. It's weird to think about. True, true. I did see it completely, but I never played it. And it's so fucked up how they disregard the old version of Simon that you used to play at... Well, I, you haven't played the game, but... I don't know, it's just... The story's pretty fucked up in a way. <clears throat> and what about... Uh, what about uh, monsters that were made by uh, people themselves, like in Amnesia? Which one is the scariest of the custom ones? Hmm... Um, well, there's one from In Lucy's Eyes. It comes from high, high quality monster pack or whatever, and it's like this witch looking thing. Yeah, that, that might one. be the scariest for me. For me, too. It looks, it looks something straight out of like a nightmare or something. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm using that in my Christmas story. Oh, yeah. It. It's very effective. I'm sure that'll be very effective. I'm sure. And then I also use um, some phasmophobia sounds with her. I think it's fi it fits, you know. Yeah, I would say. Um, what do you think about going back to like? I know you haven't played Soma, but you can get the whole what it questions, like the philosophy of the game. What do you think consciousness is? Do you think consciousness is um just a collection of different parts of the brain working together to create the illusion of consciousness um or do you think consciousness is like this like it's like on a cosmic level and like it's supernatural or some shit like that the latter like, what do you think consciousness is the latter definitely the latter yeah i don't know i mean i'm i'm a very skeptical person i feel like it could be an illusion but i don't know I'm only a, a human, which is <clears throat> we can only slightly, yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, hu humans are pretty much like apes. I mean, we're slightly more evolved than Neanderthals, so I don't know. <laughs> we're not very smart. We think we are, but what if everybody else is just an NPC? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, I don't really think that way. And I'm like, I'm schizophrenic and I still don't think that way. So. 
feel like some like people, especially like right wingers in America, are like more sch sch schizophrenic than me, and they need, they probably need to get a diagnosis. Yeah, quite. This will also agree with you. No way. Oh, but the only thing we can yes. actually ever know is that we perceive something and what we perceive, you know. Yeah, re reality is perception. Yep. We guess the bridge breaks. <clears throat> oh, hey, there was this dude hanging here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's fire <gasps> down <gasps> there. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Ah, oh, I love that snow sound. You step yeah. in the snow. I like those. Uh, I don't know why it's so satisfying. Indeed, I uh, I really enjoy snow as well, and also custom stories with snow in them. Like, uh, there were these custom stories uh, made with the fan gem of Frictional Games. Oh yeah, and um, I live in Florida, so I I never get to see snow anymore, unfortunately, which is depressing. Uh, I understand, lots, yeah. Lots of uh, giant lizards, though, and alligators. Yeah. Amazing. Pretty much live in, like, a prehistoric world down here. <laughs> Where every day is another Dinosaurs Florida above. man headline. Yeah. Seriously. Shit, I've seen some crazy shit in, in Florida with my own eyes. I've seen a car crash, actually, before. Like a like a bad one, like right in front of my eyes, and I'm like, "Well, that just happened." Yeah. And I, I just went about my day. Yeah, dr drivers are crazy down here. Well, yeah, well, same in London, you know, where I lived for a while. I saw somebody getting mugged in front of my eyes. So, so, uh, someone getting what? Mugged, robbed. Oh, damn. Yeah, the best thing you can do in that situation is just, like, hand over your money. Yeah, but they were not after me. It's, it's... <laughs> yeah. I know, but I'm just saying, like, if you... If you ever get in a situation like that, I would just be like, here, take the money. Don't... Don't yeah. injure me. Just fucking take it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Completely. Especially since, <clears throat> you know... I mean, it's just money. Like, I don't... I'm... Not gonna care too much about a little bit of cash. This is my wallet. I mean, cash is something from the past anyway. Yeah, but I mean, I still carry cash a lot of the time. Personally. I have a feeling we are missing something here. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, this looks like a relaxing place to live as long as um there's no avalanches or anything. I am stuck in this toilet. <laughs> stuck in, in what? In the outhouse. Nice. That's not not a place you want to be stuck. Okay, um, by. no, I spawned back in the house. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I have to go up. Is there oh. not a teleport script? Like, slash TP and my name? TP. Unknown command, TP. Oh, oh I'll be there momentarily. search up. Let me see. 
So yeah, you're all about the East Coast, yeah? Yep. Me too. I am, if, if... I am in a state that is flooding currently. <laughs> yeah. Me too. If I ever want to go to the United States, I would do the East Coast. I think the East Coast is better than the West Coast, but don't tell Bizzaplane because he's all about the West Coast. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> I, I like the East Coast. I, I feel like it's more chill here. People are more chill too. I've heard bad things about California. I mean, if you look at the West Coast, it's like California. Uh, just desert, and then it's Oregon, and then Washington, and then finished. But the East Coast is like Maine, and then something like Rhode Island and Connecticut and all that stuff, you know? Let us see. Um, This guy on Steam says, It is either LTP or TP. I don't know. Try both. All right. Try LTP slash LTP, my name, space my name. Um, I'm already here. <laughs> I do. I took the oh. scenic route. Derpy do. Okay, don't go in the outhouse anymore. Yeah. We just... Oh, whoa. Lag. Okay, I found a way in. It's a window. Oh, nice. <sighs> Thank fuck we can turn on lights. Yeah. Quite a long one as well. Oh yeah. I would not want to sit that far away from a small TV like that. Yeah, it's a bit bad, yeah. <laughs> not really that cozy, there's no fucking fire. Look outside. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Was I scary? <laughs> or maybe like 0.1 milliseconds. Oh my god, look at this carpet in here. It's... Yeah, I recognize it. Yeah. You know what's funny? I see that carpet in like a lot of like video games in general. It's uh, like a stock asset or something like that. Yeah. Now yeah, well, I'm completely lost. Did we find anything in the house? Yeah, uh, an axe, and now you have to get out again. Hmm. Through the through the window, remember? Yep. Look behind you. Whoa. I walked up to the door that I was supposed to go through and it teleported me back. Because of the lag. Okay. Well, this looks kind of liminal. Yeah. How do I look now? <laughs> okay, now I'm completely frozen in place. You don't see me? Weird. I'm getting a little bit of lag. I hear you, but I do. Oh, okay. We're in a car now. What? Oh, whoa. What the fuck? Wait, let me get back to my model. <laughs> now that oh is God. This. Now that's interesting. I had a model that was not in the pack that I gave you, and you didn't see me. <laughs> huh? Damn the car again. Okay, now. Oh. Does this actually have a story or something? Still a better story than Rebirth. Yeah. Okay. Calm yourselves, doors. You're not spooky. <laughs> We have a little bit uh, too much beer. Uh. Ah, 
Ah, is this the car crash? Uh, uh, hospital. A you witnessed. Oh, you look uncanny. <laughs> Stare oh, into the void. That's the scariest part of this so far. Was why is that guy looking at a wall? He's just talking to the wall. So what do we give this? What's the rating? Compared to the other GMOD horror maps, um, compared to your normal GMOD horror map, eight out of ten. Just yeah, because it's, it's very well made for a GMOD horror map. I was thinking eight out of ten as well. You know, interested in more so uh, jump scary kind of thing, the cheap ones. No. <laughs> no. No. Um, they can be effective if there's well, I mean, cheap ones, no, but like if there's a lot of, of tension building up over a long amount of time and then there's a jump scare it can be pretty effective that is true here yeah. yeah and and there's like jump scares don't have to be loud and like in your face all of a sudden they can be like david lynch kind of jump scares where it's just like slow slowly you know coming in if that makes sense and it just slowly fills you with dread or whatever yeah that can i guess that could be a jump scare as well <clears throat> True. But it has to be done right, which can be difficult. But yeah, you want to try another map or... Uh... Another map. How's the time? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Well, see oh, you in a bit. Hey. Okay.